Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another class of how to become system administrator. In previous class, uh, we discussed about uh, AD objects and containers. I hope you guys are okay with the topics that we completed so far. And in today's session, I am going to guide you about the user's properties. Yes, I am talking about the active active user's properties because you know that if you are working as a system administrator, if you are planning to become a system administrator, it is our responsibility. You must need to know about the each and every options which are available in active active users properties. So, in this class, I am going to guide you each and every steps, each and every options which are available in the users properties. So, do one thing, let me share my screen and uh, help you uh, to understand about the options and features that contain by the active active user properties. I am sharing my screen, but before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. I hope you guys are able to see my screen. So, this is, these all are the topics that we uh, completed in previous class, I think, like we successfully converted our machine from work group to domain. And uh, in this class, let us talk about... Uh, uh, the work of objects like as a user, group, computers and shared folder. So, I am going to guide you about the each and every options which are available in the Active Active Users properties. Okay, so, I am I'm, I'm going to open our Active Active machine, the server 2022, this is our server 2022 and uh, let me log in with the help of uh, built-in administrator. Cloud.com is our domain controller name. And we successfully log in our uh, server computer. One client machine is also available based on Windows 10. And uh, we already converted it from work group to the domain. You can say that this is the member of domain controller. Do one thing. Go to the tools uh, of our Active Active domain machine and click on the Active Active users and computers. In the Active Active users and computer, we are able to find the domain name, then click users. And... Uh, Two different users are available, right? GCP and Telnet, two different users are available. I'm just going to create new user because I'm planning to give you the complete information about the user's properties. Go to new and in the new, we just need to click on users and users, sorry, and in the user panel, we need to provide the information like the Alibaba. I have already decided that I'm going to choose Alibaba name to create our user account. Everything is okay. Provide password mandatory to provide complex password to our active active user account. Mm -hmm. We successfully created, and now let's try to understand about the use cases of uh, active active users properties. And with the help of same Alibaba user, we are able to log in our client machine. So if the client machine is already member of domain controller, hmm, if it is already member of domain controller, then definitely you are able to log in your client computer with the help of active active user account. Unfortunately, can sign credential because your domain is not available. No problem. This is the basic and common issue of uh, active active environment. You just need to open ncpa.cpl of uh, uh, our uh, server 2022 or any server operating system that you are using ncpa.cpl. See, unfortunately, your domain is not to resolve the name of your, uh, your, your NICAD, your network is not resolving the name of our domain controller. So, what you need to do, simple steps required, just need to disable the NICAD and activate it. Is all right, please? So, maybe, maybe it will like either change the Ethernet name. So, now we are able to find this is cloud.com. Everything is okay. Back to the client machine. If possible, please restart your client computer or you just need to log in with the same user ID and password and definitely you are able to access your client computer. Most of interviewers will ask you question, if you are getting an error like as a domain server is unavailable, please coordinate with the administrator. So, you need to troubleshoot the issues by self. Fine, but our agenda is to understand about the active active users properties, open the ADDS panel. In the user's property, we just need to right click on our user account and uh, in, 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 in the user's properties, we are able to find n number of options are available like as a uh, copy, add uh, group, disable account, reset password, move, homepage, right, alt ask, cut, delete, re rename, 
and properties and number of options are available so i'm just going to click on the copy actually the meaning of copy if you are going to make your user to the member of our existing group our existing group are the group that you created by self like uh, let me make it member of uh, any any xyg uh, group we are on properties of our uh, alibaba user go to the member of icon and i'm going to make it uh, enterprise administrator okay so let me make it at ad enterprise administrator and one more point i wanted to add schema admin mm -hmm. and uh, group policy creator so i'm going to make it member of these three different built in groups and now client requested can you please create another user with the same rights with the same uh, delegation service right click on user go to the copy option and provide the information about new user account simple steps required and now the tata user will also become the part of enterprise administrator and schema administrator and uh, group policy creator owner i'm going to create go to the users properties and in the users properties go to the member of and we are able to find all the members enterprise group policy creator owner and schema admin all the members are successfully added in our tata user we created tata user with the help of copy option great let's talk about the another features and options which are available add to group whenever we click on the add to the group n number of built in groups are available we just need to find out so the entire options we are able to find like account operator administrator backup operator certificate publisher certificate uh, service uh, dc com sorry dc uh, dcom access i'm going to make it backup operator so whenever we click on the add to 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 the group it means that you are trying to delegate your user if i'm going to open the properties of our backup operator are if i am going to open the users properties and go to the member of backup operator is also member of our user our user is also member of our backup operator fine next another option just right click and click on disable account whenever we disable the account it means that you are trying to block your users access for temporary basis if i am going to sign out mm hmm i'm going to sign out and try to log in with the help of same alibaba user so maybe we are not able to log in our alibaba user account because we blocked the access of alibaba we blocked the access of alibaba your account has been disabled please see your administrator system administrator only the reason you blocked your account from the users properties and this is the temporary basis you are trying to block the access of your uh, users login only for the temporary basis i hope you guys are okay with the points that we are trying to understand this is really important for every system administrator all right so right click on the user properties go to the reset account so as per the name suggests currently i'm using uh, cloud at 123 but i'm going to use abc at the rate 123 okay abc at the rate 123 within minute within second you can reset the password of your user account right you can reset the password of our user account so next another important part go to move guys move is a totally separate part move is applicable to like you want to shift your user to another ou or to another domain because the group is considered as a object and ou and domain considered as a container right so if you want to shift your user to the from to to from one ou to another ou that time you can proceed with this option all good as it is go to the cut option delete option rename option self explain i'm going to open users properties and in the users properties general option available address account profile and number of options or features are available so we are going to discuss all the point 